Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 4th, 2022. And welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, where we look at space weather, earthquakes, world weather, and volcanoes. Checking out here the last 48 hours on the sun at 304 angstroms, where we can really see the plasma around our sun. Most of the action still is in the outgoing position very quiet earth facing sun right now we do have a little bit of energy cresting incoming towards our planet you can see it firing up there on the left hand side this is the last 48 hours on our sun of course brought to you by solar dynamics observatory and daily events worldwide looking here at the last 48 hours outgoing I want to take a moment to thank everybody for joining the channel. I appreciate all of the love and support for the information being shared here, keeping humanity aware and prepared with space weather events, extreme weather events, and following our world weather. Looking here at the multi-spectrum, as you can see, not many events to talk about. Those little solar tornadoes on the southwestern limb seem to be fizzling out. And as well, at 171 angstroms, that developed coronal hole in the southern hemisphere of our sun has moved into an Earth-facing position. And this is the area that I will be watching over the next 48 hours as it crests in. Iswa is showing no new space weather events. As you can see, just the one in the outgoing. Solar X-ray flux lowering down in staying in a B range. Geomagnetic activity remains low. Real-time solar winds are hitting us at about 413 kilometers per second. After being amped up, shared yesterday, over 500 kilometers per second. Calming down ahead of the storm. Schumann resonance for today, 19 hour blackout. So still a power of 16 which was reported yesterday with the Schumann Resonance. Small spike noticed there in the last couple hours. Having a look at earthquakes here for the last 24 hours across the planet. And we're going to start out with the sizable 6.1 here in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. It occurred at a 10 kilometer depth, mid-Atlantic Ridge. And that happened at about 4 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Looking through the Dominican Republic, things have calmed down, but Puerto Rico increasing in quakes today. Action coming back. A rare earthquake here to report in Timberlake, Ohio, 2.8, five kilometer depth, just off the coast of Cleveland in Lake Erie. Swarm has stopped through White City, New Mexico, only reporting one 3.6, and as well as Sino, Nevada, 3.6, and then Utah, 2.5. And the guys are seeing a swarm today. They've seen about 60 minor earthquakes in the region. These are the two largest throughout the small swarm. Hawaii is still shaking today, a 4.3 reported overnight. And as well, seeing a 3.4 just recently at 80 at 8 kilometer depth and no action in the caldera right now. Quieting down through Alaska. Overlooking Russia, 4.5 here at a 489 kilometer depth. 4.6 in Nami, Japan. 6.0 here in Katabu, Indonesia, 556 kilometer depth. That's the deepest the last 24 hours. 4.4 there in Los Polos, East Timor, right beside Luatolo. Just recently here, a 5.8 in Vanuatu was reported, 116 kilometer depth. 5.0 here in Havalutu at a 256 kilometer depth. As well, India, Port Blair, 4.5. 
and a couple earthquakes here to report still throughout China, 4.9, 4.4 there, quiet through South America. Only looking at about 220 earthquakes, according to USGS across the planet. Looking here at the last seven days across the world, Two largest earthquakes this week were the 7.3 and as well the 6.2, 5.8 there in Greece, quieting down South Sandwich Islands, quieting down North American Plate. Most of the action seems to be on the West Ring of Fire. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery across the world and as well the most recent volcanoes getting updated for today. We're going to start out with Sabancaya in Peru, Senge in Ecuador, Swiss in Tajima in Japan, Reventador in Ecuador, Fuego in Guatemala, of course in Nevada's de Ruiz, Colombia, many flood alerts across the United States and as well Europe and Malaysia. Luatolo, Indonesia, Simru, Indonesia, Shevalich, Russia, Popo in Mexico, Hungatonga, Era in Japan, and Nevada's to Chile and Colombia. So that's about 14 volcanoes getting updated today. And we've still got extreme cold conditions. Now moving into northeastern parts of the United States, and as well, they've been lingering across Canada from Quebec westward. Right to the coastline with British Columbia, Northwest Territories, Yukon, all dealing with extreme cold temperatures. Which has been forecasted and I've been reporting all week long as the polar vortex has moved in and a lot is changing through our big oceans right now. Give you a quick look across the world, satellite imagery. No major storms to talk about, just a lot of monsoon rains through Malaysia and as well flood alerts across eastern United States. Now we've also got a wind event here to talk about here through the Great Lakes. Looking at windy.com here for the next 24 hours, we will be seeing over 60 kilometer per hour winds over Lake Superior, and that's going to continue on eastward across all of the Great Lakes. Lake Erie going to be clocking in at about 60 kilometers an hour as well. This event will last for about 24 to 36 hours as that big low moves eastward. And they're still kind of forecasting here the same thing that I reported yesterday. Massive low pressure system heading towards Iceland. Atmospheric river of moisture heading into Europe. Two pretty big low pressure systems here developing in the long range. That big one coming out of China is going to be quite concerning. Also wanted to share with you the snow totals here for the next 10 days as we are in winter. And pretty much from Colorado and northward, there's snow. Then you got this big pocket and then Ontario, and then looking over Greenland, they're looking to get about four meters, up to five meters of snow forecast for the coastlines of Greenland over the next few days. So winter is definitely in full effect across the Northern Hemisphere. Giving a quick glance at snow totals across the continent and across the world. Now let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by MediaWorth and as well daily events worldwide. Starting out in Ontario, home base. As we do have that big high-pressure ridge coming in. Arctic blast is ready to move into Ontario, looking at minus double digits later in the week. And then watch for a roller coaster event as the next low comes out at Colorado. 
will be popping the temperatures up yet again through Ontario, but most of Canada and westward are enveloped in this polar vortex that has moved in and will be moving in, settling in all this week. The low pressure center off the coast of BC seems to have shifted back out into the ocean a little bit here with the forecast. So it looks like Alaska may get the brunt of the snow in the long range. But the big story here is the cold temperatures. No extreme weather events expected through the United States until the long range. Pretty big system whipping up here into Greenland and Iceland. As I was showing you, up to four meters of snow will be falling, parts of Greenland. Watch for three low pressure systems here to affect parts of Ireland, the United Kingdom, and then heading into Central Europe. Low pressure center here developing through the Mediterranean. Big winter storm heading through northern Russia, western parts of Russia. Extreme cold and dry conditions continue in the central and east of Russia. Overlooking Malaysia, daily evaporation rains to continue here over the next five days. We've got a low pressure system coming into parts of northeastern Australia. That might be a named storm by the time it gets to the shoreline. Right now, it's just an area of interest. Also looking at rain coming into southeastern and eastern coastline regions across Australia. Pretty big wet system here developing for New Caledonia and Vanuatu. Dry conditions for Hawaii this week, but a very big low pressure system just north of you. As forecasted and I've shown in the last video, and I appreciate everybody checking out these forecasts. Overlooking so South America, not much has changed since yesterday's forecast. Africa, things are seem, seem to be really heating up. Watching for a lingering low pressure system here through South Africa. Going to leave here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern. Pointing out all the major lows that are affecting our planet right now. Much love to everybody watching today. And again, don't forget to smash that like button. Hit your notification bell so you don't miss an update. The Daily Do, here for you. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your Daily Do. Bye-bye now. Much love. Prayers for our humanity. Bye-bye. video please hit that like button subscribe share with your friends and family from across the world